Now you mentioned, hey, do I am I saying the Bucks won't be in the NBA Finals? Yes, I am saying that because it's not just about Boston or Milwaukee. Uh, Miami, I have great respect for Miami. You always have to pay attention to Miami. Yes. Uh, Cleveland has won uh, eight games in a row. I don't know. I don't know if they've got You're what it takes. So it's just a you nice. Ain't, you ain't I'm not on worried that. about Cleveland. You ain't chipping on that. Or let me go here. The man just scored 70 points. He just scored yeah, okay. 70 points. Yeah, okay. And I know it was against the, the terrible Spurs. Uh, <clears throat> he and Michael Jordan, the only two players in the history of the NBA to have a game in which you got 65 points, at least 65 points, and at least 15 rebounds. Mm -hmm. Jordan did that against the Cavaliers, 69 and 18, I think it was. Oof, good. Mm -hmm. Cavaliers, mm -hmm. couldn't, fi Cavaliers mm -hmm. couldn't figure it out with Jordan. But Joel Embiid, uh, he's, he could always score, but now he's taking it up. Uh, even higher they got Nick nurse you mentioned him earlier they are a team that it's just they look a little different they look like they have figured it out they got the the Ben Simmons drama is behind them the James Harden drama is behind them Tyrese Maxey has emerged do you look at Embiid in Philly and say oh yeah I'm, I'm down that's a finals team they got finals ability do you look at them that way no, I don't. I don't. Whoa. Why not? I don't. Why? Okay, I, I'm going to put this very delicately so that the Philadelphia fans don't think that I'm hating on their guy. I think Joel Embiid. Oh boy, this this is gonna is be doing, good. This is gonna be good. I think he's doing spectacular work, right? It's indicative of a new era of the NBA, and I wrote about it. And it's very rare you see guys on the same night scoring 60 points. You know what I mean? He and Carl Towns. And, you know, teams are scoring more than they've ever scored. Joel Embiid averaging 30 points this year, 35 points, excuse me, after 33 last year, after 30 the year before. And from a skill set standpoint, from a skill set standpoint, as a scorer, not many in the league's history can say that they are on par with him. Mm -hmm. My belief is the regular season sets the standard, the baseline for our, how stars should perform during the playoffs. And if you are averaging 35 a night during the playoffs, that is the lowest that you can average. Not because I'm just expecting more of you, but you can't have 10 point drop offs in the postseason like Joel Embiid has had, plus the injuries. Because guess what? If you have a drop off during a playoff, I'm asking players who have not been thrust into leading positions, not only to raise their game, but to pick up your slack as well. That's not how it usually goes in the playoffs. Magic Johnson stepped up his game. Larry Bird stepped up his game. Talk about Steph Curry, Isaiah Thomas, of course, Michael Jordan. The year that Jordan averaged 30 and was, and was doing all that work, he didn't average less in the postseason. I mean, at least not until he played mm. Detroit. But he uh -huh. raised his game. <laughs> nice. He raised nice job. his game. Nice job. Nice I mean, job. Nice job. Facts are the facts. I, I can't help the facts being the facts. But Mike raised his game. He averaged 33 during the regular season. All right, cool. I averaged 37. But it's not about the numbers. It's about the expectations. It's about being able to throw you the ball and you're saying, jump on my back. We're winning this game. We're winning this series. I have yet to see Joel Embiid do that. So when you ask me, do I consider Philly in the same category as the Boston Celtics, the, Phil uh, the Miami Heat, the Milwaukee Bucks, all those teams have at least conference finals appearances. All those teams have represented the Eastern Conference and the NBA Finals in the last five years with leading players who are still there. Mm. The Philadelphia 76ers have yet to break through. They have yet to break through past the second damn round. So Ooh. I don't consider them that. And is it impossible? It's not impossible. But if past history is the greatest indicator for future outcomes, Ooh. we know what's going to happen. Okay. If that's the case. I'm, glad I'm not saying that it's not going yeah. to happen because Philly fans is going to say, Benny Sand and Beat is a choker. Benny is saying that the way Philadelphia is playing now, Joel Embiid being this type of dominant scorer, you're going to ask him to be 
just as dominant, if not more, and history has shown us that it is hard for him to keep up that high level of performance. You know, it's funny. Uh, we talked about nicknames off the top of the show. Nicknames that you had growing up and you couldn't share some of them. I think Philly fans may have some nicknames for you too that maybe we can't talk about those nicknames too, especially after what you just said. And I agree with you. I agree with what you said because I asked you about Philly. I set the table. I set it up and I, I passed you. Just gave it to you. Let you cook. But you know what? I agree with you, Vinny. I agree with you. I don't take Philadelphia seriously. I don't take them seriously. I, I look at all those numbers and all those performances. I need to see it. I need to see it. I need to see it when it matters. I've just been uh, fooled by Philly too many times to say, oh, this is different. Why have you so been do something fooled? Different. What they, what, why did you believe? Well, I, but no, I would believe belief is not that's too strong. It's not belief like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm going to take some time out, carve out some time. Hey, here's Philly. Philly in a big moment. Here we go. Check it out. This should be a good one. No. How about last year? They're up 3-2. They, they mm. have 3-2 on the Celtics. 3-2 mm. mm. with a game at home. Close out game mm. at home. Mm. So they lose that one. But hey, we're up 3-2. We're, we put ourselves in this position. Hey, we know we can beat this team. Going to game seven. Ha! No show. No show in game seven. I mean, they, the, the Ben Simmons scapegoat game. Also yeah. in a game seven against, oh, because yeah. you know, everybody's got a story about a game seven showdown with the Atlanta Hawks. No, they don't. Not since Dominique Wilkins was there. Come on. Like, so they got a game seven showdown with the Atlanta Hawks. They lose. It wasn't just Ben Simmons passing up a dunk, y'all. They, they, they love that in Philly. Just keep them like, hey, hey, Ben Simmons, he passed up a dunk. But why were y'all in a game seven against the Atlanta Hawks when you're in a better team? So I, I'm with you. I, I don't take it seriously. Another thing I don't take seriously, I'll say this. I don't, think, I don't, think, they I don't this. think they can't get there. I'm just saying they haven't gotten there, and I will need to and see overwhelming they, evidence before I'm just going to blindly jump on and say that they can do it. Hey, thank you for watching Brother From Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.